Hello, this is Vance, and this is Thursday, October the 16th, 2014. These are CL Trades for today, using the slow hand method for price action. Final recap for today, and uh, <laughs> it was a wild af afternoon. What a wild afternoon. Uh, let me just show it to you. I'll just kind of squeeze it out here. So I was in here. Here was the DLRE report. said it was 8 million barrel sh uh, the, uh, surplus. I think price is coming down, so it did come down from here, bounced around, had this channel drawn in here, and when it took off, it launched from 81.61 all the way up to 84.83. So it was like unbroken. It just kind of zero, it just ripped right up here to the top, and then we had a pullback, uh, almost a two dollars and fifty cent pullback from the top from where we are right now. So this particularly was can, was predictable. I will talk about it when we get there, um, but. Uh, I had a session today. It was talking about uh, prices in general, a uh, couple of things. So, so maybe I'll do a little bit of a recap for people that were on today. It'll be a bit of a, uh, a kind of repetitious, for, particularly for this area here. I'll talk about the uh, DOE report and what I saw in this, and then afterwards why I got this trend line in here. Um, really, there was a trade here. I didn't take this one. Um, this is really the first trade. So we had this channel working up here. Now, from the overnight, I talked about the fact that it kind of things were, were kind of slow. We had this pullback, first pullback to this area. Really, this is a second entry long. I didn't really take it because there was too much overlap here. You thought maybe we were going to come back and test it. But it did turn out a price moving into this tight trading range here. You can see these side-by-side -side bars. It broke out the top, made a new high, and reversed. Second entry short right here, right off of this one. It would have worked out to the bottom of this channel. Um, overshot the channel but then it had support from off these these bottoms right here so you can see these matching lows right even from this area or from right where the most touches are so you see the matching lows from here um, through this area uh, price gets down to this area so we have the first pullback and whether you get it in this trade or not um, you're at the bottom of this this wider channel here depending where your stop is I mean if you put your stop down here I'd think that you could have gotten into this trade um, it was a little bit of a pullback but it's kind of aggressive I mean you don't know whether price is going to come back down here or not but if you look at it from a measured move standpoint we had this one move up and we looked at from this first pullback here you can say this is really a test of this area and so and if you look at from the this look at the magnitude of this thing right to the other side so when this tested off here you can draw your swing your first line here in this channel so this is I think a wider channel through here and maybe it was like kind of like this you know kind of touches these tops here and so you know when it gets up to this area you can see that there's a failure here pulls back down to this really respects this channel and this support area right across here here like this we had a bounce a more of an intermediate channel i'm talking about this one right here price when the first time fails comes down you can see this little tail price attempts to go down the second time and really trap traders uh, on the short side it, got, it was good for your 15 ticks pulls back again the first pullback well like the first pullback down to here fails pulls back again and another opportunity to get in here off this intermediate channel um, again another pullback down to here almost like a second entry long now this is a pretty long bar here but you got to think that I'm thinking that this is going to be another measured move here like a move within a move so up to this point first pullback second pullback and so there's enough room to get out you know 15 ticks really re thinking you're retesting this area here um, so that was a trade that did work out now uh, had you been break even plus one look at you, you just got ticked out by one tick came back and took you out right here and I mean you can't say that this wasn't a stop hunter you know that, that hunt is right I think that's the case <laughs> I don't know I mean but it comes back here really off the top of the channel so what was formerly resistance is now acting as support so it comes back down and tests this area and then another opportunity to get in here now on this bar oops let me move this over on this bar here it's really a second entry long but it's off of this you know doji so I don't know if you take that aggressive trader it's off the EMA it's really testing this area here there's the opening price yeah it's, it's worth I think it's worth taking it for an aggressive trader but it didn't give you that much you think you're gonna retest this other side but the other thing is close to the DOE report it's a, like uh, 10 minutes to to 11 so whether you take that trade or not I mean that's really very aggressive because the reports gonna be coming out right away um, do you have enough room to get out there I would probably pass I you know a pass on that um, but I just marked it anyway I thought that maybe uh, given that the strength in this market it might be worth taking I mean it, it did work out but 
that's like I said, it's a pretty aggressive trade that close to the report. General rule of thumb: half hour before the report, half an hour after the report. You know, probably better off to stay on the sidelines unless you're already in the trade. So this is kind of like this is really stretching it. Uh, the second, when price gets to here, you can see when the report comes out. This is before the report. This is 10:53. Price moves down here, and when the report comes out right here, uh, because of shortage, it drops. But with that eight million barrel shortage, you can see it drops here. This is the first drop, and then it kind of like looks like it runs into support right here like it re runs into resistance at the very least so you think with an 8 million barrel surplus I mean price is going to fall down and really retest this low uh, but it doesn't I mean what happens is that uh, uh, price instead of retesting the low it uh, it finds support and so here's a second entry long right here off of this one pulls up and then we have another opportunity to get in price pulls on the first time fails goes down the second time down to this area retests and comes out of here so another opportunity to get I think that from a shorter standpoint you know these breaks I mean these are second entry shorts as well but you know it's really looking at resistance even though it's below this trend channel uh, this this act this price action it really doesn't look like it's an it emphasis of, of wanting to go down particularly when you have so this is 11 o'clock. The report comes out right here, drops down, and it pulls it all the way back up right to where the where it started. It attempts to go down again, and then really rockets out of here. So who knows? You know, this is a uh, and this is this magnitude of this move from here. It's 80.75 to 81.77. This is a hundred ticks, and it happens in a period of 11.14 to 11.24. Ten minutes, it runs up a buck. And so, I mean, there is pent up demand. There are buyers that are stepping in at these prices. I mean, like, so it seems to me that 79, 78 is really low. So that's what I was thinking. Price comes down here now. I was still on talking with the individuals at 11 o'clock. And so we have this first move down here, looking at this. Um, really, a second move down here it was a little bit of an overshoot. And I, I signed off at 12 o'clock. Or just after 12 but you can see these bars start stacking up right here we're near this bottom is look at the tops across these ones right here what was formerly support and you see price attempt to go down the first time it failed try to go down the second time and so this is really like a second entry long you almost had a test down here once you get this trade if you get this uh, this trade now this again this is an aggressive trade it's a break of this trend channel so we had a break to a new low and so going long here, again, is an aggressive trade, but really off of the support. And when you see, and remember, this is 100 ticks, remember. If you can see this it's stacking up here, uh, it's worth it. If you get to these double tops, it's 15 ticks. And look, at it just kind of shot right out of here. Comes up to here, and then we have another pullback. Pulled back the first time down here. This is the second entry long right here. Okay, But you, I didn't know if you had a break of this trend line right here, but it pulls back again. And then we have this opportunity. So it's really this is the second entry long. Now it is a doji, but look at these matching lows. And if you look at getting in here, if you can get in here on this trade and keep your your stop below these areas, another strong move. Now this move was you think he's going to test this other side here? You know this is the overnight. But look at this thing go. It went from uh, eighty one sixty two to 84, 84, 81. And so this move, and this move took, this is 1243, and this is uh, 1304. So we're talking about uh, 20 minutes. It moves up like three bucks. I mean, this is, there is like, this is really strong, a uh, strong trend up. So there are buyers being at this price. And you've heard me talk about the price of oil. You talk, we you hear me blather on about finding costs and this and that and the whole bit. I mean, this has got to be some kind of indication that, you know, prices really at these levels are too low. Now, once it gets up there, it gets driven back down. So this is where the volatility aspect of it comes in. So right into from when it, Tops out here at eighty four dollars, eighty five dollars. It pulls all the way back down to eighty two forty five, and yet it's still at eighty two forty two. It's still over three dollars off the bottom. So we had some tremendous movement here. Now I wasn't trading this. I mean, uh, I have to admit, I, I couldn't resist this thing. I mean, I was looking at, and I was looking only at on the basis of this measured move here. You know, seeing the measured move up here at the time, pulled back to this area, and so. This is a measured move like this. And so I was only looking at maybe, um, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of getting out. But it took me out right here. I pulled back high tight in the stop because I thought this was going to be exhaustion. But I got banged up by just a couple ticks right at this area because I was following it just a little bit too close. And uh, it, I left like a big chunk on the table. Like, I mean, from here, 
81, 60, 82, 61, and went another two bucks. You know, it was another two dollars in here, and I mean, uh, you know, it's only a single contract, but still, I mean, that's uh, two thousand dollars on a single contract. Uh, it was like, uh, yeah, I never saw it. I, I got out right here. That's why I was again. I, I thought this was pretty good on this trade. You know, like uh, this is a hundred ticks. You know, I got out. I was I at sixty-four. I think it was right here, right in the bottom. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the scoop. Um, no place to get in here, but that time I was really finished. This is at one o'clock. I mean, yeah, you could trade this, and I mean there are some opportunities there, but man, like I mean, once you're on this thing, I wasn't looking at shorts after that. I mean, I wasn't like this really had me flabbergasted right here. This thing it just shot right up there uh, to the upside. And I remember Mac talking about it yesterday. He says typically the downside is a lot is works its way down a lot faster than the upside. Well, not today, not in the CL. Eighty one sixty four to that price, it was like pretty remarkable. And if you're on the right side of the trade, man, you didn't need a couple of trades. So today was a pretty good day. Like if you're if you're bullish and you looked at these areas uh, from from the opening sort of thing, um, he did pretty well, even though it was a news day. You know, as far as the DOE report was concerned. So uh, that's it. Let me just see if I can get, uh, see if I got that picture. Just a second here. I took a snapshot of it for a single contract. Look at this. You know, I got in at 64 down here two, with uh, three contracts. And I thought this, you know, here's the first, like really, I thought it was pulled back. I thought this was a tight trading range here. You know, like pulled back, you see touched here, touched back down here and Limited in right down here with three contracts. Got my first two off, and look at that thing. And I was, at, I got out at, uh, well, I think I got out. It was a hundred ticks. That's what I got out at. So I, I moved it up. I got out at, at eighty-two sixty-four. I'm stupid. Like, see this one right here? I moved it up here. I should have kept it underneath there, but I didn't. I figured, okay, hundred ticks has got to be enough. It was wrong. It was a wrong thinking because uh, at sixty-four, you can see where I got out. Sixty-four was right here. Like it took me out right at the 64, right this. I put it behind here. I put it too close. And look at from 82.64, it went up to 84.79. Like 82, it was like another 200. Like, nah. oh well, never knew. That's uh, not going to beat myself up over that one. I mean, it's still 100 ticks, but even still, that's not. Uh, what can I say? Don't want to think about it. If I think about it too much, there'll be other days. Like, but I don't know when. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. This is, well, I have, but it's to be in on the trade and be participating in on the upside like that is almost like an, another worldly experience. Anyway, that's it for now. Have any questions? Please let me know. Um, for anybody that wants to participate in the live sessions, I don't know how often I'm going to have them. You got to send me an email, uh, and it's uh, at jksv at shaw.ca. Uh, I've got something in the works. A surprise. People that are on the list will get the first crack at it, but something is they'll be very interesting. Um, and uh, I'm just kind of working it out right now, but uh, might be it'll come up maybe next week. Uh, so if uh, anyone that's a follower of Mac will be very interested in this, and so if that's uh, we'll we'll see if see if it works out. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is Vance. Bye for now.